What's up everybody? This is a long overdue update on the smoker trailer. It's been almost a year. Yeah, a little long. But uh, yeah, it's been used many times. It's actually already got a patina on it from the sun. So, so far so good. The Smoke Pro has been lasting. It's been used countless times. No issues yet with any kind of electrical or anything, but uh, yeah, I think the last time I showed you guys, everything was pretty much brand new. But uh, yeah, just some add-ons, you know, a little bit of drunk humor. Uh, don't take that, uh, Uncle Remus, personally, anybody. It's just comedy. So last time this was empty, I'll kind of show you, those are the two lines. So basically what this is, is two five gallon buckets, this being two on each side, so four total, glued together, or sealed together, caulked together, whatever you want to call it. And this fits two of the torpedo kegs perfectly which is the smallest keg you could get. Uh, it's five gallons. So, I mean, instead of one big keg, I know you get a little bit more beer, actually a lot more beer, but this way you could have two different beers, yada, yada. I mean, I got two taps, so, you know, a little variety don't hurt. Plus, I mean, I'm always bringing bottles and cans anyway, so not a, not a big deal. But uh, what it is is some two inch thick insulated wall foam, whatever you want to call it. And I made a pretty much a square out of it, taped it. And then what I did for the spots I couldn't obviously fill in all the air, I just used spray foam and pretty much that same stuff right there. But used a lot more inside there to fill it up. And to take a little bit more extra room I used some pieces and just stuffed them in there just so it's not all spray foam but in uh in the valley here in california on a 110 degree camping trip with just ice around the edges a little bit of ice this thing goes a full day and a half no problems ice cold beer thought cold as you could get it and then there's my little co2 little container i also ice that down too i mean just because i've been told and not because of my experience because i'm definitely not a professional when it comes to beer taps uh i got a buddy who brews a little home brew so he knows a lot more than me he helped me set it up uh but one thing he said was have your co2 the same degree as your beer and it keeps it from getting too much foam when you actually tap into your cup so better say some sorry right so of course you want to have the old padlock you never know who's going to try to steal your beer at night right another addition i made was the speakers i actually have another one there so I do got two two of these old three-way techniques old-school techniques with a uh, little Bluetooth receiver that I got actually from Home Depot believe it or not you'd be surprised what Home Depot has online and then there's finally the generator box with the actual generator in it this is a Westinghouse 2200 amp it's got the smart technology so you could actually charge your cell phones if you got pesky little kids that want to play and charge their laptops or whatever then this thing is actually I guess circuit safe whatever whatever that means so yeah good deal everything is working out good so it's used and abused so any questions feel free to ask and of course you got this drain, I don't think none's in there. Nah, I drain them good. 
I believe that one's for the CO2 and on the other side there's one actually for the uh, for the kegs itself just when you want to on the drive home just open it up and let her spill out on the freeway just like a, just like a roach coach right thanks for watching